Alrighty, so let's begin with our first question. Always mark the keyword because it will help you to identify at the correct answers quickly. Please check out my other courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit where I have tons of courses related to cloud computing that is Azure, Google Cloud, AWS, Cybersecurity, Management courses and many more. And also please consider connecting with me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique where uh, if you need any kind of personal assistance, I'll be glad to help you out. First option C is the number of employees who will be trained to use the new gen AI tools. Training headcount is crucial for rollout but doesn't reveal which use case delivers the greatest impact. Incorrect. We'll move to now option B. B says the ability of pre-trained models that are offered on various cloud computing platforms. Ready-made models, that is pre-trained models, speed, uh, speed the deployment, yet won't identif uh, identify the highest value application. We'll eliminate it. We'll move to now C. C says the regularity of updates to the underlying foundation models used by different Gen AI platforms. Updating regularity and model evolution support performance but doesn't determine which use case delivers the most value. Incorrect? We'll move to now option D. This is the specific business problems the company aims to solve and the desired outcomes. Defining business problems and desired outcomes aligns Gen AI adoption with measurable goals, ensuring the solution delivers business value. That being said, we'll lock option D as the right answer. Let's bring the heat to the snow. This is all about task automation. Option A says tasks that call for innovation and original thinking. Creative tasks need originality, which generative AI may not reliably produce without human input. Incorrect. We'll move to now option B. B says scenarios involving complex variables and strategic decision making. Strategic decision making involves context and judgment AI uh, may not handle reliably. Wrong answer. We'll move to C. C says processes that are repetitive and governed by clear rules. Gen AI is well suited for automating structured processes that follow predictable patterns. Let's keep it. We'll move to D. D says situations handling sensitive data or requiring human oversight. Sensitive tasks require judgment and oversight that automation cannot replace. Wrong answer. Well, lock option C is the correct choice. Alrighty, now let's look at this question. Option A says link the AI module with multiple recruitment platforms to broaden applicant intake. Broadening intake doesn't influence how fairly the AI evaluates candidates. Incorrect. We'll move to now B. B says focusing on minimizing the processing time for each application to improve efficiency. Reducing processing time improves throughput but doesn't address trust or fairness in decision making. As per the question, if you look, it's all about AI transparency, right? And we need to focus on the fairness. So this is definitely out. We'll move to now C. C says maintain AI transparency in the decision logic and personal data handling. Transparency builds trust and supports fairness in and supports fairness in automated decision making, which is essential when deploying AI in sensitive processes like hiring. We'll keep it. We'll move to now D. D says configure the AI to autonomously score applicants without manual oversight to mitigate the attack. Log in to the instance and install diagnostic tools to investigate the instance. Removing manual oversight risk biased outcomes and weakens applicant confidence. Incorrect. Well, lock option C as the right answer. All right. Now let's look at this question. This is about no reasons for rejection. Option E says 
perform fine tuning on the Gen AI model. Fine tuning adjusts model performance but doesn't create transparency for its output. Incorrect. We'll move to now B. B says acquire a larger and more diverse dataset to train the Gen AI model. A better dataset improves model quality but doesn't make its decision interpretable. We'll eliminate it. We'll move to now option C. C says integrate functionality that allows the Gen AI to clarify its decision making. This solution enables the AI to provide clear justifications for its output. Let's keep it. We'll move to D. T says design and interpret test to measure the Gen AI model for bias results. Fairness audits check for bias but doesn't provide applicants with individual justifications. Wrong answer. We'll lock option C as the correct choice. All right, all right. This is all about adding multi-model search capabilities, which accepts image, voice, and text inputs. Option A says minimized emphasis on keyword-based search engine optimization for listing and gains in organic search visibility. This describes a marketing tactic, but uh, not the core customer experience benefit of the new search functionality. Incorrect. We'll move to now B. B says optimized warehouse stock control procedures and enhanced precision in anticipating demand for best selling products. This addresses internal logistics and supply chain outcomes, not the customer facing goal. We'll delete this. We'll move to now option C. C says reduced cost for maintaining consistent product details across multiple sales and marketing outlets. This focuses on cost efficiency, not the primary aim of enhancing customer experience and driving sales. Wrong answer. We'll move to D. This is multi-model search capabilities enhance how customers find products, improving their experience and encouraging purchases. Multi-model search capabilities are fundamentally designed to enhance the user's interaction with the catalog and simplifying finding products which drives engagement and sales. That being said, option D is the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question. This is all about Google's recommended practices. Option E says an approach driven by individual teams and developers experimenting with the technology. This is a bottom-up approach can lead to fragmented efforts and misalignment with company goals. Hence incorrect. We'll move to option B. B says a strategy fostering innovation through independent experimentation by development teams. Rapid implementation often neglects essential governance, risk, and ethical consideration. Wrong answer. We'll move to C. C says an approach where leadership defines the vision, ethical guidelines, and strategic goals for AI. Google AI principles advocates or recommends for a top-down strategy to ensure responsible and aligned adoption. We'll keep it. We'll move to now option D. D says a framework encouraging separate business units to launch their own AI initiative autonomously. This framework can lead to redundant projects, inconsistent security protocols, and a fragmented AI landscape within the organization. Let's eliminate this. We'll lock option C as the right answer. All righty, now let's look at this question. This is all about safety settings. Option E says acting as a filter that removes unsafe or improper content from the model's responses based on configured sensitivity. The core purpose of the safety settings is to act as a content filter that screens the model's outputs against predefined categories of harm. Let's keep this. We'll move to now option B. B says enforcing a strict limit on how long the model's generated responses can be. This describes a function related to controlling output length, not content safety. Wrong answer. We'll move to C. C says governing the amount of text the model can accept and produce in a single interaction. This describes a configuration that manages the model's working memory capacity for a single task, not evolution of content. Wrong answer. We'll move to option D. D says adjusting the level of variation and novelty in the model's predicted outputs. 
this function controls the diversity and unpredictability of models responses which relates to creativity management rather than safety filtering we'll reject it the lock option e is the right answer all right now let's look at this question this is all about vortex ai search option e says enable retrieval augmentation by aligning llm outputs with internal data sets external sources and google semantic graphic this supports llm grounding using enterprise and external data sources plus semantic context from google's knowledge graph we'll keep it we'll move to b b says visibility into popular and frequently accessed content is based on global user search patterns and behavioral trends if you look at this option it will it focuses on popularity matrix not semantic grounding or enterprise relevance incorrect we'll move to now c c says supports broad scale web crawling and public data extraction for open domain queries this will target open web indexing not tailored enterprise knowledge integration will eliminate it we'll move to option d and this is offers customer facing product comparison across e-commerce platform for shopping optimization so this will serve consumer shopping use cases not enterprise level ai search requirement will eliminate it let's lock option a as the right answer all right let's look at this question this is about human in the loop option e says adjustment of the temperature parameter to promote varied and less literal interpretation variation in interpretations increases unpredictability without improving nuance incorrect we'll move to b v says application is stricter safety settings to exclude content prone to misinterpretation filtering removes content instead of resolving misinterpretation issues we'll eliminate it we'll move to c c says inclusion of human in loop review process to enhance summary quality looks good because in the question human in loop is there and here we also got the human in loop somewhat rings a bell so human oversight improves contextual understanding and preserves intent let's keep it we'll move to d d says reduction of output length to produce more concise summaries shortening or reducing output reduces detail but doesn't solve misinterpretations wrong answer because uh, Uh, that is the requirement of the question here as well right d is wrong well lock option c is the right answer okay now let's look at the evaluating prompt techniques to meet the requirement option e says use prompt chaining using prompt chaining enables context retention across user exchanges let's keep it we'll move to b b says use zero shot prompting examples using zero shot prompting limits contextual continuity and reference capability incorrect we'll move to c c says use role prompting using role prompting doesn't address multi turn memory or context tracking wrong answer we'll move to d d says use few short prompting using few short prompting guide tone but doesn't preserve prior conversational context we'll delete this we'll lock option a use prompt chaining as a right answer so please 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 don't go away let's meet in next part of the series please check out my other courses on udemy by searching cloud guru amit where i have tons of courses related to cloud computing that is azure google cloud aws cyber security management courses and many more and also please consider connecting with me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique where uh, if you need any kind of personal assistance i'll be glad to help you out